Alright, what do we do? Fucking Friday. But I was afraid that when I woke up, I was still going to be feeling the way I feel. And I don't like it. I have a feeling we're probably going to end up getting in a fight this weekend. It's a long weekend, which makes me extremely uncomfortable. And I, I'm not real good at controlling myself when it comes to being pissed off or agitated. I really fucking hate Labor Day, man. It makes Sunday, Friday. And then Monday, Saturday. And then Sunday's Tuesday. It fucks everything up. I just fucking hate it. It makes me so uncomfortable. I need a certain schedule. I just need it. I can't help it. I don't know if it's because I'm an asshole. Or because I am who I am. Or because of brain damage. I don't fucking know. All I know is that it makes me really uncomfortable. To fuck with the schedule. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I'm going to have to pretend for fucking four days how much I don't like it, but I'm going to fail, and that's why I think I'm gonna, we're going to end up fighting. Words are going to get said. I don't know what to say. I just fucking hate it. I hate it. It's sort of like when I play the guitar and I don't play very well. Well, you stop. You're like, okay, I'll just try again. Well, if you can't try again, then fucking... It just makes you uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. I mean, I know I can play with her here, but... You know, because she doesn't fucking hear anything I play, so... It doesn't matter. It's not like she'd judge me either way. Which blows ass, but... Still, I like to fucking practice alone. Because I sound really bad. Like, it's really bad. It's like, is somebody fucking torturing a goddamn cat over there? So, I don't, I'd rather not have her be here, but... For Labor Day, I got four fucking days, I, you know, normally it's three, but... She decided to take an extra day off, so, yeah. I'm just gonna have to pretend even harder, but I don't think it's gonna, uh, it's gonna work. I do think that I'm gonna end up fucking getting myself into some fucking trouble. I might as well, fucking, who cares? It has to be said, because I don't know what to say. I mean, what do you want me to do? Shoot myself in the fucking head? Try to fix what's wrong with my brain? I can't. I am who I fucking am. I mean, I already don't have any motherfucking friends at all, so... I guess who I am is fucking a bitter taste for most humans, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying not to let it fucking destroy the fucking I would say better me that fucking that I've realized as of late but I don't think it will because I'm just I don't know. fuck this is gonna be a long long weekend yeah, it just fucks up everything. Like, we're going to go to Restore tomorrow, which I do want to do, but they don't open until 10, so fucking shit. I don't even be able to go to sleep till like, 2 or 3 in the after fucking noon. That's like, yo, you fucking stay up 8 hours after you get home and you want to go to sleep. God damn it. I just fucking hate it. Fuck. Why can't I just go to Restore on my own? Because I can't fucking drive. I'm stuck. It's a great place to be stuck, but come on, man. Everybody I think I know would fucking lose their goddamn minds if they had to fucking just hand over the keys. Hand them over. Here, just give them over. You nowhere. You can't go anywhere. You physically can't do it. So there's no amount of bitching. There's no amount of fucking writing of letters. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You're fucked. I think most people would lose their goddamn minds. I'm okay living where I live, but it does suck not being able to do the simple shit that most motherfuckers can just do. Oh, I want to go to Restore. So, hey, let's go. Let's get in the car. Let's go. Hey, fuck you. I can't do that. And nobody fucking likes me enough to be like, let's go and let me get a ride. So. 
how is that supposed to make me feel? I mean, come on. I have no ground at all. There's no grounding. I'm just a live wire just fucking arcing on every fucking thing that it can. She can't fucking do shit. She has no fucking opinions on anything. It's like fucking talking to a wet paper towel. How did that fucking happen? It's because we were only fucking 15 years old. You don't know shit when you're 15. Loyal? Oh, yeah. Fucking loyalty up the ass. But goddamn, don't ask her for an opinion on anything. Anything. I need a fucking... A ground. I need somebody to fucking put shit into perspective. Otherwise, I'm just... Bouncing off the fucking walls with whatever I come up with, and I'm broken, so. I mean, what the fuck? It's not gonna change. But, I don't like this, this feeling of, as of late, being so agitated. I think a lot of it has to do with knowing that I'm going to have to go through the goddamn torture of fucking Labor Day weekend with an extra day stacked on top. I don't, I can't just sit here and try to pretend like it doesn't bug the shit out of me because it fucking does. It's real simple. I just, I like to do the shit the way I do it normally during the fucking week. So that all culminates in fucking, we need to somehow have a bigger house by the time she's old enough to retire. Because there's no fucking way that I'm going to be able to live like that. There's no way. I'm telling you, I, I'm saying it now. There's no way. In my house, with her never going anywhere? No. Fuck no. That's just not going to... I can't. I can't. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it in a bigger house. I love her to death, but God damn it. Separation makes love... Grow fonder, whatever the fuck that shit is. I just, I need my fucking time, goddammit. I mean, it's like, well, I need my time alone? No, if I had a homie, I'd go hang out with a homie. But I don't fucking have any homie, so it's just me. So I guess, yeah, I need my time alone. Because that's the only fucking way it's going to be. But I need it. I fucking need it. I don't want to know who I'm going to become if I end up, you know, unable to have what I need to be comfortable. I'm not talking about the goddamn torture devices. That shit fucking hurts too. That's something else that everybody just forgets. Because it's not them. It's not your body, so why the fuck should you care? Yeah, but A... Hey, you know when I was bitching about it? It was like, oh, that shit hurts. Maybe these pods hurt. Maybe the picture with all the blood coming out of the one that I took off. You know, all that. You remember that? You said that one day that that happened? Hey, guess what? It didn't stop. Just because you motherfuckers kept moving on with your goddamn lives, doing whatever the fuck you do, didn't mean it stopped. Magically, it's just, oh, well, it's not a problem then. It's just not. Since I'm not thinking about it, then it's not happening. Uh, no. It's happening. Every second of every goddamn day. Well, everybody just fucking ignores the shit out of me. So, not a fucking single, hey, how are you doing? Nothing. I've done that to other people and I got fucking nowhere. So, that just must mean I'm fucking hated and I don't know why. I wish somebody would have the fucking balls to just tell me. I'm fucking starving right now because I can't eat. I just put on another torture device. If you use it, like right after you put it on, it's going to get pissed off and hurt for the next three days. So if you stack that on top of it, just going to hurt for the next three years anyway. I mean, fuck, people. Think about it. I'm going to get to a point where I physically can't take the pain anymore. And then what? Well, the fucking silence. Yeah, you'll get your fucking silence. It won't matter. Because I'll just pass away and I'll be the end of it. Nobody will fucking know that I even fucking exist except for these goddamn videos, so... You're goddamn right I'm gonna motherfucking make them. I'm fucking pissed. You need a friend. You're like, oh, it's all right, man. This is what and that. and A homie. Why? I can't have that? Fuck. 
it's turning into spitefulness. It's been spitefulness for a long time, but I just try not to think about it, and it fucking kind of goes away, so. But when things start to get rough, and I can't even talk to her, I need somebody, but I don't have anybody, so I think that's why I feel so shitty, along with being starving. I'm really hungry. Like that shit where your stomach, like, makes, like, noises, and you can feel it, like, gurgling and shit. Like, what the fuck? It's because I'm hungry. But I'm, I can't eat. So. She's going to be bringing something to eat home. I'm sure it's carb-fucking-tastic. So I'm going to end up high as fuck later, because I can't take insulin. I'll try, but I don't know. I aim to dig some today, too, because I'm pretty agitated, and it helps. It helps to relieve it. Hopefully, I'll get a little bit further. I want it dug the fuck out. Out. Ready to fucking put the liner in. No more than, like, two weeks from now. That's a pretty good amount of time. Still digging shit out, though. I don't know. Found a bunch of metal. Found some rocks yesterday, but no more bones. Hopefully I'll find something cool. Be pretty dope to be, like, in the news for, like, 15 goddamn minutes. Where's my fucking 15 minutes, goddamn it? Lots of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. That's completely true. I don't know. A lot of shit happened to me, but don't nobody give a fuck. I don't know. It's like, God damn it, are you serious? Not even an episode of I Survived? Well, I guess it's not that big a deal. It is, but it isn't. Fuck, I'm hungry. It's like, I'm supposed to be a 42-year-old, quote-unquote, man they say so what a what does a man eat for dinner or breakfast or fucking lunch or anything what is what is what does a man eat i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say like just based off of who i am what i have to do breakfast and lunch consist of cereal bars and meal replacement shakes. And then dinner, you know, dinner, I guess the main meal for the day, the one that you're supposed to get all your fucking nutrients and shit from, so you can have energy to do things, like dig, would be, I don't know, I guess for a regular person, a regular man, it would be like a hamburger and french fries and a Coke, right? Or a plate of spaghetti with garlic bread. Certainly not a peanut butter sandwich with fucking like six chips. Six chips! And two slices of bread with some peanut butter smashed with... Are you fucking shitting me? I'm supposed to be a man off that? Not a fucking man. Not even fucking close. I don't even have the frame of a fucking... I'm, I weigh less than, like, a fucking high school girl, a soccer player. Like, I mean, man, how am I supposed to fucking act like a man when I'm not even a man? Yeah, that's why I like being ignored, I guess, because I can say these things. No one's going to fucking ever hear it. No one, because, I mean, look at this shit. No views, no views, no views, no views. All right, good. Motherfuckers, don't look. There's nothing to see here. Motherfucking assholes. When I'm fucking dead, then it, then it matters. Oh, I'll be a ghost. I'll be fucking haunting everybody from the fucking internets. From the cyberwebs. And they say it's forever, so I we'll guess we'll see. How can I feel this way in a place like this? I don't know. And I am largely agitated by my family. 
I love them to death, but I can't believe it. Like I can't, I can't believe it that they're, that they're capable of such idiocy. Damn. Holy shit. It's like my mom's smart. I'm smart, and I'm only smart because of her, but how could she think shit like that? Like, look, I'm just going to say something right now, like, uh, Dave, or my grandpa, fucking grandpa, if you're out there and your love is still present, you know, show yourself a butterfly or a dragonfly, want it to land somewhere near here. And then fucking a butterfly floats by, a white one, an orange one, whatever, or the dragonfly, were to land on the rock or something. That's because it's about fucking in the middle of where that... Yeah, come on. Don't do that. Because I, I fucking reversed that shit on her once. I was like, she's like, well, how will I know if you... And I was like, well, I'll be a... Hum I'll be a... It would have to be something that you wouldn't see, like, wherever it is you are. Like seeing a butterfly in fucking Antarctica... If that's possible. Or isn't possible. It has to be not possible. Otherwise, how the fuck... It's something that can fucking happen. Statistics, goddammit. You can't just be all like, oh, that's, that's somebody I know. Shut up. Shut up. Please. Stop. Don't do that. That means you're fucking... You're... You're gullible as fuck. And that sucks, because that's my family, and... I'm staunchly against it. Fuck that. Christianity, go fuck itself. Bunch of bullshit ass. It's not real. That's all. It's just, it's not real. I just, I love and I hate that I am the fucking poison to their well. I am the poison to their well. They can't answer my fucking question because they know it's bullshit. How come I can't pray and get cured? Oh, what was? Oh, because it doesn't it it doesn't work like that. Okay, so so then how come it's such a big deal for you? It's such a fucking an a, just a end of the story for you. You put your whole life on it. You'll spend your entire life saying heck and gosh because you think that the other side is going to be so much better. I think that's fucking ridiculous. And that's fine if you want to waste your goddamn time. But I, uh, I'm really annoyed that I have to feel like I can't be just as passionate about being, believing in myself. I don't walk around with a fuck you fucking Jesus fucking t-shirt on. The fucking shit's not real. I don't know what to tell you. Here, here's a real fucking problem, and then fucking we'll talk after 25 years of it. So, I can't talk to my family. Yeah, I got fucking nobody. No. Buddy. Like if I didn't record this and I wouldn't have anyone to share this with the light as it is on this day. Friday. I do look forward to drinking, but that's gonna have to stop eventually too. Or Everything is going to end for me because of it. Like, oh, your kidneys are starting to fail and what, they just come back? No, I don't think so. Even if I stop drinking, I'm sure it'll still be fucking waning. And, and Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to fucking, I don't want to die yet, that's for sure. But who does? Like, I mean, there's people out there, I'm sure, but... For a long time, I was stuck in the middle or I just wanted to die, but I fucking just didn't have the balls to do it. So you're just kind of stuck in this fucked up gray area. Or you just have to feel every fucking second of the suffer. 
but you can't leave. And then, uh, I don't know, I just was able to fucking pull out of it and uh, be glad and grateful that I have what I have, that I get to do what I get to do. But the disease is getting harder and I don't have anyone to fucking express it to. Anyone. No one. Try to tell your fucking mom or your brother and you're just going to get... Oh, well, you're going to get paid back when it's, gone, when it's all over. Hey, fucker, I'm alive right now. Right now. You fucking idiots. What the fuck are you... I mean, what the fuck? Man, you get one fucking life. You assholes are just going to sit there and pretend. I can't. I just can't. Who the fuck? What the fuck? So, I guess I'll just have to sit outside... On days that are really, really nice where I should be fucking enjoying the shit out of it. And, uh, bent. I don't look forward to the next four goddamn days. I really don't. I can't wait for it to be over. I can't wait for it to be motherfucking Wednesday. Which sucks, because there's already two days taken away. So that's another reason why it pisses me off. That's two days I don't... I don't get those days back. They're just gone. But she deserves to have those two days. So I see it that way. But, so I'll get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then another goddamn weekend. Finally. The following week, I should hopefully finally have a fucking solid week. Monday to Friday, the way I like it. Come outside to dig in this motherfucking pond. I should be having it finished, closing in on finished, I hope, by the end of next week. If I'm allowed to dig every day from now till then. Fucking love this fucking water shit, man. It's really cool. Sounds kind of like dogs, but those aren't Brandy's dogs. Or are they? I don't know. It might be because of the wind. Yeah, I think it's your dog. Fucking wind ass dog. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was watching fucking something. And. Oh, that movie Champions. That shit's good. And shit, that even brought up some shit for me, too. I would volunteer for people who are like intellectually disabled I'm not a bad guy I mean I can be a fucking monster but I mean I don't have to be everywhere like I wouldn't put myself near children or whatever but they're basically on that same level I guess but I don't you know I do that but I can't just hop in my motherfucking car and go do that so I don't think people understand quite how much that fucks up your whole shit like, what are you going to do today? No, you're not. No, you're fucking not. Not unless you fucking either Uber or fucking... Or have a homie. If you don't, then guess what? You're not. You're just not. doesn't matter what it is. And I can't Uber because I live out in the middle of nowhere and they won't come out here. So. And who's got the money to fucking Uber everywhere? Everywhere. Not me. Damn, did this thing switch over? No. Right. Look at that fucking whatever that is. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a sunflower, but there's no flower. And I think that might be, that's what it is, because Colorado seems to be that way. You can grow sunflowers, but they don't bloom. But that thing is a fucking monster. So, you yeah. know. Yeah, I gotta get all this shit out now because when she gets home, I don't want all this boiling under the surface. I mean, it's gonna be boiling, but I don't want it to be over, almost about to spill.
it's like fucking I know that working and all that shit like makes you all uh, even more of a wet paper towel but I am almost certain that if she didn't have to go to work I don't I don't know it would it would drive me nuts because I still can't talk to her if she just doesn't think on the level that I do that sucks it's not like I can go back to myself in 2000 or 1998 like dude think about this for a second you're gonna be needing someone to talk to when you're older and you can't talk to her it's like talking to a fucking dog or a pet or something that doesn't really have an opinion on fucking anything you don't think about that shit you're 15 so ooh a girl and she's not ignoring me or I don't know I don't know. I probably ruined her fucking life. But she doesn't fucking... Like, that's the thing I was thinking about earlier. Like, if we won the lottery and she didn't have to go to work anymore, and it's like, alright, here. You can do whatever you want. You can make whatever you want. You can create whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. She'd sleep. Just fucking sleep. Like, that'd, that'd be it. Like, not interested in fucking anything. Like, fucking anything. I'm not like that, man. Fucking sleep when you're goddamn dead. What the fuck are you doing? That's a waste of fucking time. I think it might have something to do with male and female. Like, females inherently live longer. And males, I think, know it. And so do females. But I mean, I don't... Females don't act like they know it. Females don't act like they know that, that we're all dying. Or that the males die sooner. So fucking, come on, goddammit, get the fuck, what are you doing? Stop taking forever to do everything. Everything. Like, like the sun's gonna wait for you? Come on, goddammit, the fucking earth is rotating. And you motherfucking are just gonna waste the whole time just doing nothing. Fuck that, I mean, I'm not like that. I'm gonna dig a goddamn hole. Fucking play the motherfucking guitar. I'm gonna build a bike. Fucking, fucking sleep. The fuck not? No, I'm not like that at all. So I don't know. I mean, I know it said that two opposites attract, but I don't know. If we were like best homies, I don't know how that would be a bad thing. I mean, it's not like when I went to concerts and shit, she would go with me. She went with me to, like, one or maybe two. But when we were younger, yeah, I mean, we would both go to, like, Family Values, watch Lincoln Park or whatever, Corn. But she's not going with me to Mayhem. Like, where's my ride-or-die fucking homie, man? Goddamn. Yeah, it's hot, but, you know, you just fucking deal with it, goddammit. Ah, it's going to be a rough weekend. Uh, I'm just going to be itching to get the fuck out here so I can dig. So, yeah. I'm going to have to plan my shit out. It's a whole fucking dancing bear shit that I don't like. I mean, I can only handle so much of, like, being down there on that level like when we gotta stop drinking I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do like she drinks to escape and fucking 18 times more annoying but when she can't fucking drink then she's gonna go nuts I don't know can't do that shit. This is the now pond, not what's gonna happen later pond. Right now I'm hungry.
I played the guitar today, but I suck, man. I really, really, really suck. It's like it's annoying. Like I'm supposed to like get better, but I don't. I just suck. That shit's pretty annoying because like I'll do something that does sound good for like three and a half seconds. Like, oh shit, that sounded kind of cool, but I can't do that again. That's not something I can do, like, on command, and that's what, that's what I mean by sucks. Sounds like someone is torturing a fucking cat. But what am I gonna do? I can't do anything else. I would have played the drums today, but I had to go to sleep early because my pancreas died. At like one. I ain't dead yet, motherfucker. Pretty sure they go up in your nose. To lay their maggots or whatever. Because it's warm in there and moist. Up near where your brain is. I wish I could talk to the birds. It's like I can't talk to even the fucking dude that I made friends with in Poland. Super cool dude, but... How am I supposed to talk seriously with anybody who thinks that the fucking world is 6,000 years old? Or that there's a fucking... Invisible, there's a flying spaghetti monster watching everything you do. Like, I can't, or, yeah, I just can't. If you don't think evolution is the way, then I, 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 how can I ever divulge any kind of, like, yeah, because your opinion's gonna be askewed in a way that's just nonsensical, and I, that's a waste of fucking time. Waste. You're not helping. By being, this life is basically not worth living. You just gotta wait till you die, because the other side is gonna be so much better. But you can't kill yourself, because if you do that, you won't get to go to the other side. What the fuck? And with the rules? And yeah, no. I can't help it, but be like, nah, man, that's nuts. So how are you, how are you gonna get any respectable advice or anything from people like that? A lot of people are like that, so. It sucks, because there's a lot of people who are smart. Like my brother, but they're still able to be... Conned? Duped? Fucking, I mean, they need something to hold on to, and I'm assuming that's the only thing that they can hold on to, but... It's so nonsensical, I can't believe that... That they believe shit like that. Like I'm not disputing Jesus lived. Oh he lived. He was a human being. That means he died. And that was the end of it. And also means he wasn't the fucking son of quote unquote God. The fuck are you talking about? There is no God. If you assholes would just fucking take a minute to think about that. It would explain everything. Everything. How come? Because there's no God. Well, how come? Because there's no God. Well, why? Because there is no God. There is none. There is no such thing. It doesn't work like that. If you put that fucking template over what's happening to you, it fucking it matches. Perfect. But people just fucking are fucking, I don't know. I really don't know. They're willingly delusional. Wolf, willfully delusional, and I don't know why. I guess because they just have to believe in something. 
But I got through what I got through. I didn't fucking cling to a cross. I didn't cling to fucking anything. But I just can't wait to fucking get fucking through this. Cut the shit and get it the fuck over with. That's all you can do. Fucking pray. What a fucking pointless fucking thing to do. Yeah, pray in one hand, shit in the other. But, you know, again, I'm not trying to take the shit away from anybody because people need it to fucking survive, so. Not like I need insulin to survive, but. You're so cute. It was right there. <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, I can't see. I saw the bird, and when I tried to focus in on it, it flew away. So I miss a lot of things. There is no, oh shit, did you see that? I can't do that. It's not in my wheelhouse anymore. I can't just see anything. Subtitles are fucking annoying as fuck. Whenever they put the white lettering over white background, like, you motherfuckers. It's hard for people who can see to see that. I can't see it at all. At all. So, I just miss it. Miss it. Miss out on whatever it was. That's fucking annoying. I mean, these are all small little rocks or whatever, but they all add up, goddammit. The physical one's the worst because that one I have, it's like it's just pain and it's gonna get worse with time. So I don't look forward to time passing very much except for the next four fucking days. Fucking wrists are starting to fucking hurt. My arms are starting to hurt. Well, they've been hurting for a long time. My arms have been fucked up since I was 20, fucking like three. But, you know, you don't die from fucking shit like that, so you don't go to the doctor. What the fuck are they going to do? Oh, you have nerve compression. Okay, so what do you got to do? Surgery or, you know, fuck that. I'm not doing none of that shit. But my hands are causing problems now my wrist specifically my right one I do think digging is exacerbating the problem but I don't know it could be from the way I play the guitar I don't know it still hurts and it's and it affects the mobility so Yeah, Ray was supposed to go fishing yesterday or last night. He said he was thinking about it. And I told him I was down. I mean, I'll bring the flower, but I'm not fitting to fish. But still, at 11 mile, that's not that far away from here. So, I've never been there. Ha, ha, ha. It's not that far from here, but I've never been there. Well, why is that? Because I can't fucking drive, goddammit. I can't just jump in my fucking ride and go wherever the fuck I want to go anymore. It's not part of my life anymore, so places that are really relatively close aren't they're actually far for me here let's walk to the fossil beds it's only fucking what six hours from here if you walk fuck yeah i lost most of my freedom not all of it but most of it and if you lost most of your freedom and you had a choice to pick well you're gonna spend the rest of your life somewhere Somewhere, every day, the same thing for the rest of your life. So pick, pick it good. And I think I pick pretty fucking good. But you know, not being able to go to a place like Eleven Mile or even the Gorge, fucking bugs the shit out of me. I can go on a bike, but man, it takes forty minutes. 
I'm determined, but I don't know. This fucking pod hurts. Oh my god, this is gonna be a fucked weekend. Oh fuck. Yeah, no, I'm digging. Fuck that. I'm gonna dig the goddamn pond. Leave me the fuck alone. If you're not gonna fucking help me, then just go over there. I'm just gonna fucking do what I need to do over here. At least I can get something done while I'm fucking having my time fucking stolen from me. It's weird. It's the physical... Exertion, like I can dig the hole, pull the dirt out, and then move the dirt or the shovel over to where I need to throw it. But that that action gets increasingly more difficult the longer you do it. And so I don't know if I just keep doing it. <laughs> but I gotta eat first. I can't try doing it on an empty stomach. I can do it, but it's like largely pointless. Uh, but today when I eat I'm probably going to end up getting my sugar all high as fuck so I gotta dig but I gotta dig and so I'm not getting the nutrients not getting any of the energy from the food because it's not being broken down properly I'm fucked yo I am fucked everything I do I do through fucking a fucking fucked body like it's fucked And it's completely, I'm alone, 100%. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Like, nobody knows that knows me understands what the fuck this is like. You may be diabetic, but you ain't fucking 120 goddamn fucking pounds diabetic. Probably less now, because I fucking can't really eat, so... That's what this is for, it's a fucking record... So the motherfuckers can know, like, what the, what the fuck is up with that foe? Well, there it is. But this is just one day, and I don't know, I hope tomorrow, or later at least, I'll feel better. I can start getting turned. But, I don't know. I hear another helicopter. Oh, the fucking shit flew over yesterday, twice. Can't even cool ever fucking happen. Just crash, motherfucker. Ooh. That's a big ass dragonfly, but I wish it would land. So that I could get it on video. Get pictures of it. I picture it landing on that rock. I'm just gonna try to leave it there because. If it does, then I'll know exactly where to fucking zoom, because I can see the rock. It's white. Really white. Yeah, the helicopter I saw was fucking kind of white. <laughs> Not like the rock, but... Uh, that could mean anything. It could mean it was black with a white stripe, or... I don't know. Or just reflection. I don't see this one. But I am half blind. So. I'll let y'all fucking see if you can see it. Because I can't. Huh. Yeah, I can't see shit, so, you see it, guess you could say something. I promise I won't try to talk to you, just
Just fucking say something. Anything. I know there's nobody there. Cause in order for there to be somebody to say something, it would have to have been viewed. And most of my videos don't get viewed. Hovering ass motherfucker. How about you get the fuck out of here? Damn. Yeah, I'll probably just go for like an hour. Another 15 minutes of listening to my fucking crybaby ass bitch. Yeah, it sucks because I don't, you know, you can't just vent the shit out. She'll come home and I'm going to be still fucking not right. I don't feel very good mentally. I feel mentally sick. I don't know what the medicine is. I know what isn't going to help, and that's a fucking long goddamn weekend. That's not going to help at all. Yeah, shit about fucking a neighbor, and she's like, I'll be your friend, we, you know, whatever, it's like, okay, uh, you know, sans I fucking, well, it's not that, it's, I really don't like the dogs, man, I just don't like them, no, I like walking into a room and having a fucking animal fucking shove its fucking nose up my asshole, it's awesome, I really enjoy that. I like having my fucking nut sack fucking tossed around by a fucking animal. It's great. It feels comfortable, actually. Come on. Seriously? Think about it. Just fucking think about it. Maybe if your dogs were fucking knee high, it wouldn't be such a fucking problem. But dogs that are large like that, I just can't. I just fucking can't. It's not just the fucking sticking their nose up your asshole. It's the fucking... They get all fucking up on you. And I, I have a pod, goddammit. So get the fuck off me. Let that dog rip my pot off and we'll see fucking how big of an asshole I can be. I'd rather just avoid that, so just let's not with the dog. I don't like large dogs. I just, I can't. I fucking can't. I'm a small dude. Do I look like the type of motherfucker that's just going to stand up to a fucking German Shepherd? Big ass dog wants to fucking do what it wants to do to me. It's going to do it. And I'm not going to fucking go through the pain involved with that. Just because you fucking love your fucking dog. Fuck that. I'll just stay away. So I'll just not deal with your shit. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. For the aforementioned reasons. Anybody sits there trying to tell me that's not a fucking thing. Is fucking either a pervert or fucking nuts. Oh, you like that? I don't. I never have. Any fucking time I've ever come near any kind of dog big enough to stick their fucking nose in my fucking crotch. It's always been a fucking, oh, that's, oh, get the fuck off me. You know, that's the reaction. You should have. But, you know, I guess if you're a short, slight fucking dude with a fucking disease that involves having something stuck to you that if fucking jostled or disrupted in any way causes pain yeah I, don't know. I guess this could just be a fucking bitching video because I'm over here talking about dogs now <sighs> just the points that I come that I that I come across or you know they need to be said Like, we need the cats. If we didn't have the cats, we'd, we, we would have nothing. There'd be nothing for us to be, have a common ground. The cats are perfect for that, so. You just have to feed them and then take the poop or the food that you gave them out of the litter box after they've digested it. 
yeah, you guys got to do that. And uh, deal with fur. But if you're not allergic, and yeah, I don't know, there's small prices to pay in comparison to the, uh, the benefit. They're not companions to me or anything, but we need them. If we didn't have that diversion, I don't think, yeah. what would we fucking talk about? Nothing. I want to talk about how the planets were formed or my interest in fucking volunteering for fucking people who are fucked up mentally, just need a friend or whatever. I don't know. Something good. Talk about the fucking front line that's going to come on. Or Nova. She, no. That's all in one ear right out the motherfucking other. So then it's like, well, then what? Then what? Then what? I, I, I don't know. Nothing. Because there is nothing. That's what I mean by a wet paper towel. Like, there's just nothing. Like, it would be bad if she didn't have to go to work. Because then she would realize real quick that she doesn't have anything that she's interested in. At all. Like, at all. That fucking sucks. If I had that problem, I would fucking have to kill myself. Like, there's no point in being alive. Damn. It's like... Watching her play as a child must have been like watching fucking flies fuck. Give her like a bucket of Legos. Like, oh, yeah, we'll come back an hour and a half later. If I were, would you make like fucking three of them stuck together? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just nothing? Really? Nothing? Hmm. I'm too much for her, and she's not enough for me. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I guess that's the recipe for true love, because we've been together for 25 fucking years. And I do still love the shit out of her. I'm, I'm needing some things that are lacking, but that doesn't change how much I love her. Because you can't put a fucking... A quantifiable number on fucking loyalty, ride or die. Because I know that anybody else would have told me to go fuck myself probably a long time ago, way before the tumor. But. That's not to say that I'm in love with fucking being married to my fucking caretaker. I don't need a fucking caretaker, but I kind of do because I have a disease that if I don't take care of it, I'll die. And there's things that I need in order to take care of it, and she helps with all that stuff. So, I mean, I do think I could do it on my own, but not being able to see makes it extremely difficult. So, but again, I'm not trying to fucking just be all like, I need her, so. Because that's not, that's not it. I enjoy doing things with her. So, I hope that this weekend won't suck as bad as I fear it's gonna. Gonna fucking find out. But I am coming outside. Fuck that. Just because it's the goddamn weekend doesn't mean my fucking schedule has to change. I'll still wake up when I normally wake up, and I'm going to come out here and do what I normally fucking do, and I'm going to go inside when I normally go inside, and come back outside when I normally come back outside. I'm not changing shit. Except for tomorrow. Tomorrow i got to go to Restore, so I'm going to make that shit count. I'm going to get a bunch of pallets, probably like four, at least four, and then any kind of building materials in terms of wood, like the shit I got for the bench right there. Fucking 
and just anything that I fucking know I can use in picture frames. So I gotta go down there and do it. So I'm gonna fucking destroy it. I mean, it sucks. I'm gonna be really, really tired. But my only concern is that I can do that, but it's probably not gonna be easier the, the older you get to run your engine like that. <sighs> but I have to. I have to. Yeah, and then Sunday will be like Friday. I'll wake up, come outside, hang out, fucking, or maybe I'll just treat Sunday like I don't treat a normal Sunday, and then treat Monday like a normal Monday, I don't know, man, I'm just gonna do what the fuck I wanna do, cause it's my goddamn life, and I'm fucking gonna fucking live it the way I the fuck want to. I don't know. I think I'll probably end this shit now. Almost an hour of listening to my dumbass bitch about things that I do have a fucking full right to bitch about. But nobody will listen to me, so. Not even when I make it into music. So, uh. I'll make another video later when I come out to dig after I've done eight. So, until then. Wait, wait. Later on.